Welcome to CAT Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 6.6. .6. Now, in this question, we are asked to find the equivalent capacitance as seen from the terminals of the circuit, right? So, just a quick recap if you're dealing with parallel capacitors, let's say C1 and C2, what you basically do in this case to find the equivalent, you say C1 plus C2. But if you have capacitances or capacitors in series, if you have something like this, then you actually apply this formula to find the equivalent. So if you are familiar with uh, series and parallel resistors, then you'd actually notice that this is the inverse of it, or it's actually swapped around. So in the case of parallel resistors, you'd do this. And if you had series resistors, you'd do this. But in the case of capacitors, it's the other way around. So just remember that. And so let's proceed to look at the problem which you have at hand. So you'll see that on this side, you have this in series with that, which means you apply the formula 60 multiplied by 120. I just omitted the, the multiplication by 10 to the minus 6 because it will always cancel out. And the result will still be the same unit. So that is why I omitted that. So at the bottom, you have 60 plus 120, which is 180, right? So that is 1, and that goes 3 times into here, and that goes 40 times into there, which means the answer is 40 microfarads, right? So now this 40, um, this 40 microfarads is now at this point, so we can erase this. Let's use the same circuit. You can erase this, it replaces that because it's the equivalent at that point. So you have 40 microfarads at that point. Now this is in parallel with that. And as I said, parallel capacitances, you actually add them up. So 40 plus 20 will give you 60. And the result of these two is 60. Right. So now I have 60 at that point. Then after that, you see that at this point, you have that and that in parallel, which means we add them up. So 50 plus 70 is 120. So you have 120 at that point, 120 over here. And finally, we have 120 and 60 in series, which means we have to say 120 multiplied by 60 divided by 120 plus 60, which is 180, which is quite similar to what we did there. So just to recap, 1, 3, and 3 into that is 40, which means the equivalent capacitance is 40 microfarads. And that is how you solve this problem.